many shots at the back of a gun. Don't, don't shoot yourself and die. Haters are softer than pumpkin pie. Out of my body ain't even alive. I found all the phonies and stuff at the top. What's up, guys? Tyler here. Today we're gonna do a video of the baits I like to fish in the winter. Hey guys, so the baits I like to fish in the winter time. <clears throat> it's gonna be a black and blue jig. Simple black and blue jig. This is my bigger jig. I have a smaller finesse jig. And this, I'll throw it on stumps, rock piles. I'll drag it or hop it every now and then. That's my black and blue finesse jig I like to throw. Or not my finesse jig, my normal jig. Uh, just a cheap jig from Walmart. I'll throw a kind of a bluegill sunfish imitation jig like this one. This is a yum something. I can't remember the name of that crawl, but very good. I think it's more realistic as a crawl. It does. You don't have to use it as a trailer. You use it off fishing on just a jig head. Uh, very good jig. Another cheap jig from Walmart. Next bait I like to fish is a bottom. It's going to be a spot remover jig head. They'll stand up on their own. I'll throw this small, I think, 4-inch, 5-inch trick worm on it. I'll throw a curly-tailed worm on it. And that's how I fish those. That's how I fish my spot remover. Next, I'll throw a weightless Cinco on a 3 uh heavy wire hook. So the heavy wire helps me set the hook better because I don't like light wire hooks because I really set the hook on a bass. Next, I'll throw the same hook on a Texas rig brush hog. Depends on how deep the water is, if I'm going to fish it weighted or weightless or not. Sorry for that shake. That was my cat. He is playing with the tripod. Uh, last bottom bait I'll throw is a craw. Um, this, is a, this is a chigger craw from Berkeley. I'll throw, a, throw it on the extra wide gap hook again, 3 out heavy wire or I'll throw it on a jig and or jig head or a spot remover and catch them off the bottom onto my moving baits I'll throw a small rattle trap this is the smallest rattle trap I can find and I've been catching them good on it or a little bit bigger one which is over here in my tackle box if I can get it yep. anything that right now that is shad color shad coloration is what I've been catching them on and those are some of my moving baits, my other moving baits are going to be square bills. Uh, I've been catching them off red, crawfish colors, but I broke the bill on that one. But the green has been working just fine. Uh, most of my strikes are coming off of when I bounce it off a rock or deflect it off a stump. And I usually fish like, you know, a Strike King 1.5. fish the occasional 2.5 every now and then when I'm in deeper water, but the 1.5 is definitely my go-to bait. Uh, next is up to the jerk baits. This is Rapala Husk Jerk, I think, and I don't know the name of this jerk bait. Have yet to catch a jerk bait fish this year, but I missed one on this one. This is my shad one, and it's got some rattles in it. I don't know if you can hear it. It's got some rattles in there, and this one is just a micro one, so I use it when they don't want this one because it's a little bit bigger. And this one has a smaller rattle to it and so I mean it just depends on what they want in the day I guess and what technique you're going to use, going to, use to three jerk short paws, two jerk medium paws or hell it might even be just a one jerk long paws, one jerk long paws you never really know and last but not least the bait I'm going to fish is a spinner bait now this spinner bait is bigger than what I would throw usually I'll throw a booyah I think it's a 1 16th ounce. It's a real little little pond, little little mini pond one. And I threw that all summer last year, caught good fish on it. In the winter, they eat it because it's a little shad, a little shad coloration bait. White's typically the color I'll pick. Or if they have a silver and white, I'll pick that too. Uh, I'll throw it out right along the bottom, just reel it in real slow. Keep those blades spinning, but right off the bottom about four inches. And no bass is going to turn turn up or turn loose a uh, small little meal, quick little meal real fast. If it's right in front of them, they're going to snatch it up immediately. And so these are going to be the winter baits I'll throw. Spinner bait, jerk bait, rattle trap, crank bait, craws, weightless Cinco's, wacky rigged or Texas rigged. Texas rigged uh, brush hog. 
keep in mind I throw three to four out heavy wire, extra wide gap hooks. I have worm hooks. Uh, I don't think my hookup ratio is good with them. I feel more comfortable with uh, extra wide gap for some reason, but that's just me. A spot remover jig head, curly, curly tail and or straight tailed worm on that, and jigs. Jigs, 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 man. The fish like, they like jigs in the winter for some reason. And, I mean, it's a slow moving presentation. Never gets, if you, if you jig's too big, downsize it, trim your trailer up. Alright guys, I know it's been a fat minute since I've put out a video, but fishing's been slow. We've had freezing rain, a little bit of snow here and there, and the rain's left the water pretty muddy, and the creeks are up a little bit. So, the pattern I had going on, it's a little bit off, so I gotta wait for the water to calm back down before I get out there again. But there will be a video up soon, hopefully this weekend of me fishing, so it's gonna be 70 degrees. So, excuse me. So it's been 70 degrees, so the fish should be biting. And we're gonna go out there and we're gonna try to catch them. I will bring the cameras. I've been forgetting to bring the cameras, but I'm gonna bring them this time. And we're gonna go out there and we're gonna catch them. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what videos you want to see down below, and leave a thumbs up, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.